Hi, my name is Carly Lowe, and this is Talk About It. Today, we'll be talking to Lucas Nias from Those Pretty Boys at Wahoo's on Warner. Wahoo's Fish Tacos was founded in Costa Mesa in 1988 and offers Mexican food with a variety of Asian and Brazilian flavors. So I'm here today with the famous Lucas Nias from Those Pretty Boys. Sure, you've heard of them. They're one of the most famous bands ever known to humankind. And we got him in Wahoo's to give us the scoop. How are you today, Lucas? Feeling great. What are you eating? I'm eating the Kahlua Pig Bowl, and it's very yummy. So, Lucas, all the viewers want to know, how did your band start? Well, we started in our friend's house. What friends? Oh, uh, you know, my friends Tristan, Robert. We just thought it would be fun to hang out and play some music. Yeah. And then we got a show, and then we added members, and then we played more shows, and then we recorded an album. And then it just kind of got out of hand, but like fun out of hand, not bad out of hand. Okay. And then we kept playing more and more shows and like having more and more fun, so we just kept going. Right now, I don't have anything confirmed about this, but I just talked to a band about playing a tour in August, and it would be San Diego to Sacramento. What genre of music would you say those pretty boys are? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I tell people like something different every time. What, what do you think? So, I've always told people like surf punk with a little bit of like ska and like yeah. maybe, maybe a little bit of regular punk. <laughs> a little bit. But then lately, like I thought about, and was, lately when people ask, I just don't really say like even musical genres. Like someone asked me recently, I just said, oh, we're fun. We're a fun <laughs> band or like, my friend's dad told his friend that we're a party band and I really like that. So that's what I've been telling people. What's your favorite song you've ever written? I don't know my favorite one that we've written, like during the writing process, because like I never really know when we're writing, really? like how like how I'm gonna feel about it later. Like we've written songs that we've just been like, nah. Water was usually my favorite, or no, Karate Kid. I'm gonna say Karate Kid as my final answer. Perfect Cause, like, choice. Cause like when we don't have a set list and like I don't know where we're gonna play it, and someone's like, oh let's play Karate Kid. Next oh song. yeah. Like that's the one where I'm always like, oh finally. Karate Kid is the best song I've ever heard in my life. One more question. Okay. Can you take us through like the process of those pretty boys writing a song? Like how you guys like come up with a song, like just the basic. Writing a song like varies from song to song. Like we do pretty much everyone different. So like either, like I write lyrics all the time just when I'm like, I'll just think of an idea for a song and I'll just do the song that day just to like get it out of my system. And then someone from the band will write a song about it around that. Just like, cause like I'll have like the general structure okay. and like the lyrics will like be completely ready. Or I'll just write a song about it if I like, if I have like specific ideas that I don't think if I was like, hey, do you want to write this song for the lyrics I wrote? Like I don't think, if I don't think they want, can do exactly what I want, cause it's like very specific, then I'll just write it. Um, or usually you can just write it. <laughs> no, but we've like all written songs and we all have input on songs. Like. Every song, and so everyone at one point will be like, what if I do this? Or they'll be like, Ethan, what if instead of doing this, you do this? Or can we change the lyrics to this? Like, everyone has input on everything. So when did your passion for screenwriting and music like first begin in your life? So I always like switched what jobs I wanted. When I, when I was a kid, I thought, oh, I'll be a veterinarian, I'll be a police officer, I'll be an engineer. And it always just switched back and forth for uh, several years until I just kind of developed an interest for movies where like just like watching movies and then kind of starting to get more into it and being like oh I'll write a short three minute sketch and then oh I'll make a little two minute movie and then it was just one day when I was like thinking about it and then I, it just I was like oh I want to do this forever and then <laughs> and then yeah that was just that and then then with, you started making like actual movies like yeah, did you then like just screenwriting started as a way for me to make movies like i would just write a two minute thing two page thing and then i would film it and that was super fun to me 
But then as I became more and more interested, I started writing longer and longer things until I wrote my first feature length screenplay, which is garbage. It's terrible now. I hate it. Well, I really liked the concept and the ideas I had, but I was so like unrefined and I didn't know what I was doing. Like I just wrote a hundred five page screenplay in like a month. Is that like a normal like amount? Like for a movie? A hundred five pages? Yeah, most are like between uh, 90 and 110. Oh, okay. But the first one I wrote, I think it's 80 pages right now. Yeah. And it, it, when, I, when I first finished it, it was like 70 pages. And I was like, oh no, this is way too short. And then I was going through it and I was just adding scenes just because I was like, I need to add more pages. <laughs> and it, they like, they didn't work. And they were just like weird cutaway scenes. I like added stuff to make it flow, but it was still, like if I read it now, I would be like, oh, this is unrefined. How has social media played a role in politics nowadays? I feel like that when things become more and more connected, you get kind of like these people who share their ideas over here, people who share these ideas over here, and that's not a bad thing. Like, I don't mean specifically like negative or positive ideas or like people like civil dispute, civil war kind of stuff. But it's just, this, this hand motion is the only way I know how to describe it. So, and yeah. then, but in addition to that, you also get like kind of people bridging their ideas and becoming more understanding of one another. Because I, they see both sides like on yeah, social media. Like, there are things that I thought. And then when I see like, someone will be like, what about this? And I'm like, oh, you're, you're right. I get you. How important is your generation's role in politics? Like how important do you think we like are in politics well from what i've seen is you have like we've kind of had people coming into adulthood like disinterested and feeling kind of helpless to our political situation and i think we're seeing more and more young people like even people like 12 13 14 starting to become more politically active in any way they can like i'm not 18 i can't vote but I've still volunteered for political campaigns. I, I write my congressman. I, uh, I participate. Like I just do anything I can outside of voting. What are some national and world issues that concern you the most? No, most of my concerns belong in like environmental issues. I would say like poaching, and we're seeing like more extinction of species, like like at a higher and higher rate. But it's like if we just increased our conservation efforts and made more of an effort to protect and grow endangered species like we could fix that problem uh, not not easily but like if we were just like put a little bit of time and resources towards it it would be pretty easy and then and then yeah that's just a concern of mine like everyone looks at the big overarching issues when it comes to environmental problems but there's also a lot of smaller contained issues that could be solved just do a little bit of math and we're, there we go that's it. So thank you so much, Lucas, for coming in and talking to us on Talk About It. I had a lot of fun, we ate a lot of food, we talked about a lot of things, and it was just a really nice time, so thank you so much. No problem, I'm personally very pro-fun, so this was a great time, thank you. Thank you, man. Good doing business with you.